This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. More on them later in the video. Hey guys, it's Sasha. In this video, I'm going to share with you the 10 best ways to make money online. I earn all of my income online, and if somebody told me a few years ago that you could earn thousands and then tens of thousands of dollars every month, I would not believe it, but that is exactly what happened to me. I've personally done each of these before, and I currently earn all of my money from these different sources. Just a word of caution. This is not going to be one of those videos that says you can make loads of money without putting in any effort. It is not going to be easy. Unfortunately, each one of these 10 methods requires you to do actual work. And in the cases where you can earn more money, you're going to have to put in more work. I know, I know you have to work to earn money. Who would have possibly thought? And like most other videos that I saw about making money online, I'm also not here to sell you a course or regurgitate some kind of rubbish about making millions of Amazon FBA or scamming people. I am just going to share ways that you can actually make money online, whether you want to start a side hustle in the evenings and weekends or to support yourself if you find yourself out of work or as an alternative to being in the rat race. I will start with some of the simpler ones and work my way up to the more complex ones which take a bit more effort but also let you earn more money and yes I will explain how I make my money from some of these different businesses and share how much you can earn on YouTube or running your own websites. If you do a lot of work online like me, security is a big issue and I have been using VPNs to protect my online businesses for many years now. You can protect yourself by getting Surfshark VPN who are the sponsors of today's video. Surfshark provide a VPN service that lets you browse the internet privately and protect your online identity and data from tracking, malware and phishing attempts by changing your IP address. You can select one of over 3,200 servers located in over 95 countries around the world and one subscription covers all of the devices in your home. I often find that a good VPN pays for itself and then some when you're booking hotels, flights or car hire. A few years ago I was booking flights from London to Idaho and the tickets cost about $1500. But after connecting to a VPN and changing my virtual location to the US, I bought the exact same flights for under 500 bucks. Use my link in the description and the pinned comment and use my code YANSHIN to get yourself 83% off your Surfshark VPN and get three months extra for free. This is a limited time offer, it will expire and it is a great value compared to many other popular VPN services so be sure to check it out. All right, the first thing on my list is selling gigs on Fiverr. Fiverr is a popular website where you can sell whatever service you like to people around the world. If you're good at drawing or graphic design, you can do illustrations for people or design logos. If you know more than one language, you could do translating. If you have a particularly deep voice, you can charge to record voiceovers. All you have to do is go and register on the platform, set up your account and your offering, and then start earning. You get to decide how much you want to charge, and the whole process is handled through the Fiverr platform. I actually use Fiverr a fair bit for my business and so do many many other companies and people around the world. And while we're on this topic, the second option that is similar to Fiverr but with a big difference that might work better for some people and that option is Upwork. Upwork is another site where you can sell your services and earn money through doing a side hustle so in some ways it's quite similar and those two Upwork and Fiverr are the two biggest ones out there by some margin but they have one big difference. On Fiverr you create a service, you market it and then people come and place orders. You just sit there and wait and they turn up. So you have to make up a whole sales pitch, you have to show examples, blah blah blah. Once you're done, people will then find you within the platform and place orders for the service. On Upwork it works the opposite way. It's a bit like applying for a job except it's a lot less scary and much more simple. You go onto Upwork and you find the kind of work that you want to do. So the people who want to pay for the work advertise rather than people offering. Let's say you're good at writing, so you go and apply to write some articles for people's websites for example. I run a few websites and I've hired hundreds upon hundreds of writers from Upwork over time. You go and fill out the application and if the person offering the job likes what you've written, likes your profile, you'll get to do the job and earn some money. You could even offer your service on both Fiverr and Upwork and see which one works out better. If you're a more hands-on or creative kind of person, you could also go and make things and sell them on Etsy or eBay or some other platform. This seems odd at first, but many people have skills in doing things with their hands and there are people out there who will pay you money to go and do those things. If you're good at woodwork, for example, and enjoy it as a hobby, you could go and make some funky artisan tables and sell them on Etsy. Or if you're good with electronics, you could go and make a YouTube subscriber counter that automatically picks up data from YouTube. Whatever it is, if you're good at turning things that are free like scrap wood or metal or not so expensive into things that people will pay money for, that can add a very decent amount of change to your income every month.
If you don't want to spend your weekends in the garage making tables though, and you don't want to go on Fiverr and Upwork to sell your skills, you can get a bit of bonus cash every month from doing surveys. There are plenty of websites out there, depending on where you live, just go and look it up on Google. YouGov is a very popular international one that you can start with. You can go onto YouGov or any of the other sites and create your profile. The more information that you give them, the more surveys they'll be able to offer you because those surveys are based on criteria like your age, your sex, and other things like that. Once you have created your account, companies will then pay you to complete surveys online. This is part of how companies and government organizations do their research, do their monthly statistics and roundups. A business might want to know what 25 to 30 year olds think about online streaming platforms or what kind of cereal they would prefer and why. It can be pretty random, but all you have to do is go and answer the questions for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe while watching your TV in the evening, and you get paid some beer money for doing it. Now, surveys do have a downside. The money is usually quite low. You can earn something like 50p for spending 10 minutes answering a survey, and it seems great, right? Free money except you then realize that 50p for 10 minutes is three times less than the minimum wage. But then again, you can do it whenever you want from your sofa and you don't really have to do any work, so there is that. Just remember that payouts from survey companies can be mighty slow, slower than many of the other options on this list. You might have to wait a couple of months to get your money. There is another way to make money that is basically the same thing as doing surveys, but you get to earn substantially more money for doing it, as much as $50 or even $100 a pop, and that is focus groups. This one works best if you happen to live in or near a big city, but there's local focus groups happening all over the place, and there is a growing trend of doing online focus groups as well. This process is much the same as surveys. Go and Google focus groups in your country or state and you can sign up to be on the panel. There are lots of different options. You might want to sign up to multiple. Then some random company might want to do some consumer research and they'll invite you for an hour or two to discuss their products, their potential products, maybe get some feedback. It's pretty easy because you don't have to do any preparation work. You just have to show up, share your honest opinion, just say what you actually think and then get a nice fat paycheck for your time. Next up is consulting. And make sure you don't get this one the wrong way. Consulting is not only for schmucks wearing sharp suits in the city burning the midnight oil eight days a week. Consulting and advisory work does go a lot further than that. Let yourself think a little outside the box. Are you really good at gardening? Well, there are lots of people out there who are not, but would love to get better. Go and put out an ad in your local community, maybe your local Facebook group, whatever it is, and sell an hour of your time a month to teach someone and advise them on how they can better manage their gardens. You can do a lot of consulting online by scheduling structured calls. What might seem obvious and simple and clear to you can often be a treasure trove of very valuable information to somebody else. If you have professional or work-based skills, you can sell those too, charging a fat hourly rate for occasional consulting while also doing your nine to five. I ran my own strategy consulting business for eight years. I started it from my kitchen table at home way back when and worked up to a mid-sized consultancy in London, so it can definitely work. If you don't want to try and win clients and pitch your skills because if you're like me, that sounds like the worst thing in the world, you can sell your expertise online in a different way. There are a few different websites out there like Jason Lehman Group, GLG, GuidePoint, Third Bridge, Alpha Sites, and lots of others. You can go on there, create your profile, and add your work background. And if you have a decent amount of experience, every now and then somebody will want to pay you to do an hour's consultation. Rates can be a few hundred dollars an hour depending on your industry and seniority. And these consultations are interested in a very broad spectrum of things. Often it's something like an investment company doing their research, maybe research on a company they want to invest in or something else or an industry, and they want to ask an expert from a very specific field. You might just be the right expert with the right kind of background and knowledge. And this is a very passive way to earn money online because after setting it all up, there is nothing for you to do. You just sit there and waiting for for an email saying somebody wants to speak to you and pay you to do it. For the more creative type, there is a way to earn money online that is fast growing in popularity. You can make stock photos, stock video, or stock music and put it up on stock websites. There are many websites out there like Shutterstock or Adobe or others where companies will license photos, license videos, and music to use in their business. Websites I run license photos from stock photo websites. Sometimes I will use some B-roll footage from a stock video website when I make a YouTube video. I can also often use music and sound effects that go into my videos as well. And these can be anything. Most likely the phone that you have in your pocket is good enough for taking photos or shooting videos for this purpose. You can take photos of everyday objects in your local town or a forest. 
And every time somebody uses your photo, your video, your music, you will get a royalty payment from the platform. And if your stock photos are particularly good, if you're good at framing it and getting the right kind of lighting and things like that, that can mean earnings really good revenue every single month for years and years into the future. But let's quickly talk about some ways to make more money online, putting a little bit more work in. Given you're watching this video, the most obvious is starting a YouTube channel. Now, YouTube is a very different thing to most others that I just talked about. It will take a lot of time. Don't make the mistake, it is not a get rich quick kind of thing, and it will take a lot of effort before you earn a single dollar. It is easy to get motivated for a day or two or even a few weeks, but when you've been spending five or six hours a day making YouTube videos for six months straight, and it's a cold, dreary February morning, and you have a few hundred subscribers and your videos get just a handful of views, it can be very hard to keep going. I've been there and so have many other people. Many people don't make it through that bit. With YouTube, you also have to be open and prepared to learn. I knew absolutely nothing about making videos when I first started on YouTube, but I tried to learn and improve in some way every time I made a new video, and eventually I got a bit better at it. Sometimes you'll improve the lighting, maybe you'll work on the sound a bit, maybe you'll work on the delivery, whatever it is. And as your channel grows, you can actually start earning money. Eventually, it can be really quite good money. You earn money from ads, like the ads that you see before, during, and after videos. Typical ad revenue on YouTube can be around two to three dollars per thousand views. It depends a lot on your industry, on the geography of the people watching your videos. Although if you run a finance channel focused on UK or US or other developed country audiences, it can be as high as 15 to 20 dollars per thousand views. You can also earn money from affiliate links. I have affiliate links for investing platforms, for example, below and other products that, and tools that I like. And every time somebody uses one of those links to go and sign up, I get a small commission, typically something like ten dollars. But they all all add up. And over time, a lot of $10 can earn reasonable money. You will often earn a lot more money from the affiliates than you will from YouTube ads. You can also earn money from sponsorship placements, like the sponsorship from Surfshark in this video. Remember, you can get 83% off and three months free if you sign up for Surfshark using my link in the description. And you can then earn more money by making courses, selling books, having a paid community, the list just goes on and on. YouTube is now my main source of income, but I do also earn money from content websites. It's blogging sounds like something that people did 20 years ago, but it's very much still here and very much still works. And it can be a very great way to run a content business if, for example, you don't want to stick your face on YouTube. Blogging is also a lot more passive. You don't have to have the same hamster wheel like you do with YouTube, where you have to put up regular content all the time. Otherwise, you fall out of people's suggested content. But blogging is also a very slow process. It will take you a very long time and lots and lots of learning to learn some of the techniques technical things you need to know about running a website to learn how to structure your content. WordPress does make a lot of things easier, but there's definitely a very steep learning curve that you have to get through, and it takes months and years for the content that you write to start getting traffic from Google. It can take you hours to write just one blog post, and for several months, you will get absolutely nothing from it. Some articles never end up getting any traffic at all, but on average, over time, websites can be an incredibly good and robust source of income. You can earn 20 to 50 dollars per thousand views from ads on your website and then you can earn money just like with YouTube when you have affiliate income from links, paid services on your site, selling books and courses, etc, etc. I really enjoy running websites as a business and this is the second big way in which I earn money online. Let me know in the comments if you are going to try one of these ways of making money online and which one you prefer. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and as always, I'll see you guys later.